all you bladers. Today we're doing a theory on what if Iger Akabane had never bladed. Welcome to the Rogue Blader YouTube channel where we do Beyblade battles, episode reviews, battle royales, unboxings, epic customizations, and Hasbro app games. So have fun, watch the video, and let it rip! Hello all you bladers! Today we're doing a theory on what if Iger Akabane had never bladed. So Iger Akabane's bay is Z Achilles a balance type, and Iger first started blading um, after he saw his father make Volt Aoi's bay. So Volt Aoi was the first protagonist of Beyblade, and he had the most character development. His bay is Valtriac, an attack type. He, before Turbo, which is Iger's main series, his only series. Um, I think this is the third series of Beyblade Burst. Yeah, it's the third, the third series. Vault became world champion right before that, and he has been for two years. And then he wanted to upgrade his bay, and he met Aiga in the woods, looking for someone named Taiga Akabane, and Aiga and Vault had fun in the woods, chasing each other. Jumping into his boat, uh, jumping into a pond, the waterfall and stuff, and then after that, Iga told him that Volt was. After that, Iga told Volt that Taiga Akabane was his dad. So Iger watched Volt blade, and he said he've he's heard of it before, but when he saw Volt blade, and how fast his bay was, he was amazed, and um, he says. I've never seen anything like it. So this is what started him to blade. And then he created his bay, Z Achilles, after his role model, Achilles, because his he told us, well, he didn't really tell us. He just um, said in the episode that Achilles was his hero, that he's the strongest as they come, and that he wanted to be just as strong and powerful as Achilles. And then even his bay was based off of bolts, except for the balance type part. He says, um, I'll just use them. When Naru asks him what type he, what type he wants, he says, I'll just use them all. And then when he creates his bay, he says, I can't let Vault show me up. His bay has three swords. Mine will have four. So his whole blading at least the first part of blading, like how he created his bay and got into it, is inspired because of Volt. And then straight after he created his bay, he battled against Volt, and it was almost a simultaneous ring out finish, except that Z Achilles burst. And after that, he basically just, um, he basically went around the world beating every single blader looking for, f and then he learned about Fubuki, he w went to look for Fubuki, Fubuki beat him, and he started to become friends with Ranjiro, and Fubuki, then eventually he met Suo too, then he got into the tournament, um, in the finals he beat Suo, and he beat Louie, then, you know, the battleship cruise, where he met all the other bladers, like Phi, and then he beat the champion, but he lost to Fi, the, not Fi, um, he lost to, uh, I keep forgetting his name, Hyde, which is Fi's brother. He met Shu in the battle tower, and then after that, he just went to a tournament and basically became the world champion. So if Iger had never bladed, then Vault would have never, probably never, have created a Chozibe with the burst locks because 
So Shu was the original, um, he had the original idea. And then Volt's Bay cracked because Iger broke his bay. And then in the battle, in the Dread Tower, Phi broke Iger's bay. So they both, Iger and Volt, created bays with burst locks. Um, I think they're called Chosy Bays or Super Z Bays, Turbo Bays. I'm, I'm just going to call them Chosy Bays, even though in the show they're called Turbo Spryzen, Turbo Valtriac, Turbo Achilles. Anyway, um, if Iger had never bladed, his bay would have never been broken. And if his bay had never been created, he also would have never cracked Vault Bay. So it's possible that Vault... Um, it's possible that also, actually, Phi sensed this resonance in Iger, and I feel like that's part of the reason that Phi joined the battleship crews in the first place. He said that um, his goal in blading is to destroy all other bays, and that any bay, the stronger a bay is, the worthier it is of being destroyed, and he sensed that in Achilles. So it, I guess if Achilles had never been created, Phi would have never been on this battleship cruise. He never would have... Um, but if he if he was on the battleship cruise, then he would have won. Well, he he won anyway, and he probably would have. So then after that, there was the title match between Volts and Iger, right? And Phi technically won, but he said he wanted Iger to go first because he felt like um, I I don't know that this for sure, but I'm pretty sure he felt like Iger was gonna win. And then after Iger became a champion. He, Phi battled him on the beach. So if Iger was never the champion, then maybe Phi would have beaten Vault. And also, actually, on the on the first episode where Phi gets introduced, his first battle was with Vault, but we never actually got to see what happened. But after that, we still know that Vault was the champion, so I'm guessing Phi lost. Or maybe he beat Vault, but like not in a title match. Um, but, uh, yeah, if Iger had never bladed, then Vault would have never created a Chosy Bay, and Phi might have beaten Vault in the title match after the Battleship Cruise, or he might have never been, even been on the Battleship Cruise, and, um, so, let's talk about Louis for a second. Iger pretty much beat Louis without having any upgrades, like, he had, like, before he... Before beating Louis, he didn't have Extend Plus. He didn't have Burst Lock. So he first his first upgrade was a level chip. Then after that, he got Extend Plus. Then after that, he got Chosy Achilles, right? But bef when he beat Louis, he didn't have any of that. He just had his original bay, Z Achilles, not even a level chip. So after that, I don't know what happened, but... When the, when Phi got introduced, Louis, they showed Louis getting really angry and going like, Phi, Phi. Like he was just saying Phi in like a really angry way as if something had happened with, between him and Phi. Um, when Phi was battling with the vault, maybe that's because Louis believed that the only person allowed to beat vault was him. And that's actually what he said. But anyway... Um, so if Iger had never bladed, then I guess Louis would have, Louis, um, maybe Louis would have had a more important role in this series where, like, Phi and Vault and Shu and Iger, um, all happened i guess i don't know how to explain it but maybe louis would have had a more important role in this series um i do feel like after the like ever since the defeat of brutal louis our louis has just been weaker like he didn't even show up in gt so I, and then neither did free or shoe so i assume that gt was just like because after iger became world champion um he 
beat Volt and Free. He beat Volt and Louie. He never actually beat Free, but Free Free's bay got cracked. So did Shu. So did Shoes. And then Volt obviously was in GT because, you know, he's happy anyway. He just keeps on training, never gives up. But Free, Louie, and Shu, I feel like they were away creating their bays. Like, Free, um, in Sparking, it said that, well, not in an, I don't think, I don't remember what episode this was, but there's a little flashback from the episode where Mirage Fafnir gets introduced, and he said after Fi broke his bay, I think he revived Geist Fafnir, then he battled Lane, but Lane broke his bay again, so his bay has been revived, but then broken again, so he, his bay has been cracked twice, and then he created Mirage Fafnir because of that. So I definitely feel like Free and Free, um, since Turbo, he's gotten a lot stronger. Shu, we don't know yet. And then Louis, like, Louis's bay never got cracked, so I guess that never pushed him to becoming better, but he did get defeated. So I feel like that kind of dampened his spirits a little bit. Like, obviously, he did, like, in Sparking, he's very powerful. He is the fifth range blader in the world according to the WBBA rankings. Um, but I, it just feels like he's a bit weaker in Sparking. Like, he, he's still got that whole Louie thing going around him, like confidence, you know, like power, um, always, like, ferocious. But, like, I just feel... I don't know why. I just feel like he would have been stronger if he had never lost against Iger, and maybe he would have had a more important role in the Turbo series. And moving on to Vault, so I already said that Vault would never have created a Chozy Bay if it weren't for Iger, but think about it. If he had never created a Chozy Bay, would he have been able to keep up with Fi in the finals? Like, in the end of the series, the finals was between Iger and Vault. But Iger beat Fi because he had a Chozy Bay. Now, technically, though, Phi upgraded his bay into Dead Phoenix. Although, I feel like that would have happened anyway, because the battle where Phi basically took Hades' resonance um, that had nothing to do with Iger. And, um... Yeah, that, that had nothing to do with Iger, so I feel like Phi would have beaten Vault, maybe, in the finals. If Vault had never been... Vault's Bay had never been cracked. And maybe Phi would have been champion, and maybe Phi would have gotten even more evolutions. Like, in the end of the series, we see Phi smile at when he saw Iger win. I mean, maybe he realized what he was doing wrong. And that's, that's cool and all, but I just feel like Phi would have been a really cool villain to get an evolution for, you know? And then also we get this scene after he, um, Iger beat Phi in episode 50. Um, and then Hades asked Phi, do you want to know why you lost? And then Phi says, tell me, brother, tell me why did I, tell me why I lost. And then after that, we don't see Hades, um, hide, tell him. So, does that mean that there is a reason that Phi lost to Iger and that if he would have won, he would have became more powerful, maybe? And then also, moving on to Free... Free, actually, Free didn't have that much to do with Iger, but the battle where he, um, he fought Iger in episode 25, um, Fire Dragon, Geist Fafnir or something, I think it was called, he battled, um, Iger met Free in the BC Soul Place, and Free battled him. I feel like Free, um, I feel like that really didn't, like, have any effect on Free. I mean, maybe he would have never battled Phi because he first sensed that the bad resonance in Iger happened. But then again, in Evolution, Beyblade Burst God slash Evolution, he did see that in Shu. So maybe he would have battled Phi in the tournament anyway. 
and his bay would have been cracked anyway. So I didn't, I don't really feel like Free had much influence on Iger. Shu, um, maybe because if, like, Shu had never been so focused on trying to help Iger clear his resonance problem because he was worried about Iger because that's what happened to him. Maybe he would have been more focused on Fubuki like he was in the beginning. And then maybe Fubuki would have been, maybe Fubuki would have become more powerful. And then actually to talk about Fubuki for a second. um, So Fubuki lost against Iger, but Iger also, like he beat him after the, like in the rematch in the beginning of Turbo. So the first battle Z Achilles and Fornius had Fornius beat Achilles. Um but Achilles was like Achilles did beat a hundred bladers. Why am I saying Achilles and Fornius? I'm talking about the bladers. Um Iger did beat a hundred bladers before he lost to Fubuki and he only lost by one point. So after that, Iger knew Fubuki was gonna do you know, he beat Fubuki, and then we see a flashback where Fubuki and Suo were battling in the tournament to beat Louis, the the um, Asia Cup, I think it was called. Fubuki had a flashback to where he asked Iger to join the Bay Club, and Iger was like, um, the only reason I came here is to become stronger. So that means I don't have to, I don't have time to make your Bay Club stronger. Got it? And then Fubuki realized he had to become stronger too. So maybe if he if Iger had never um, battle bladed, then maybe Fubuki would have been with Shu the whole time, and he would have become way stronger than he was in Turbo. Or maybe because Iger never bladed, Fubuki would have never um, thought about becoming stronger. Maybe he just would have stuck with the Bay Club and. Maybe he would have helped Toko become stronger. Um, and then Ranjiro. I feel like Ranjiro wouldn't have really changed that much because Ranjiro and Rantaro, they're they're good. Um they're my they're good characters. I just like Rantaro better. Is all I like Rantaro a lot better than Ranjiro. My favorite characters are Rantaro and Silas. In Beyblade Burst, those are my two favorite characters. And then Volt and Free are among them. So is Louis. Um, but anyway, um, Ranjiro basically just helped train Iger. So maybe if he had never bladed with Iger, he would have never... Like, maybe he would have just been the same. Like, maybe he would have always stuck with the Wild Bay Gang and been known as a strong blader. And then maybe he and Fubuki would have had a rivalry. Instead of he and Iger and Fubuki and Iger. So uh, Iger never blading had, well not had because it never happened, but Iger never blading definitely would have had a really big influence on a lot of bladers. And it would have changed the way the Beyblade anime show is made today. It would have um, had a great impact if that happened. Obviously, it never will happen, um, because Iger's probably always gonna be bleeding, and unless they make a new series, which I, like, about the new series for a second, the new series of Beyblade, um, I don't know if they're gonna make a new series, it does seem like they're running out of ideas in Sparking, so maybe they'll make a new series. Hopefully they keep the same parts, you know? Like, maybe, I don't, I'm fine with not having double chassis because I like the idea of, like, GT because, like, I don't like double chassis because, like, they take away the whole bursting factor of Beyblade. Like, a big part of Beyblade is bursting, but if you have a double chassis, like, even a weak one, like 2S, it's not gonna burst anyway, you know? Like, I like GT because you can customize the teeth, but, you know, the bays are still, the teeth are still weak enough where you can still burst them, but, you know, you can still customize them. But, um, anyway, back to the video. Um, if Iger had never bladed, it would have had a really big impact on the way that Beyblade is shaped today. Um, especially bladers like Fubuki, Ranjiro, and Volt. 
But uh, that is where we're going to end off the video for today. Um, hopefully I'll do more theories in the future. Like, what if Free had won in the battle um, of the semifinals and Beyblade first God? Or what if Shu had never gotten possessed? But um, yeah, those are for later. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Subscribe, like, and leave a comment so you don't miss the next video. Um, stay tuned and peace out.